we can hardly even buy a house today. Most of us got to work two jobs. You see what I'm saying? Most of us can't, as a man, if we're in a house, we can't just work and our wife stay at home. Bring it out, huh? Because that's how the system is set up against us. We get the low wages. We first, uh, we first fired last hire. That's on us. Read. This is the book of Baruch, chapter two and verse thirty. For I knew. For I knew that they would not hear me. It says, God said he knew you would not hear us, hear him. He know his people. Because we already know if black people think they know something, they hard-headed as hell. They're not going to listen to nothing. That's how God know his people. That's us. He said he knew his people wouldn't go hear him. Read. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff-necked people. Man, ain't nobody more stiff-necked than black people. Bring it out. Ain't nobody more stiff-necked than black people. We got our people over here right now in the corner, and they won't even come and deal with us. Hey, my people. Hey, y'all over, I see y'all listening. Come over here and deal with me real quick. Let me talk to you. Y'all don't want to talk to me? Right there, that proves my point that y'all are God's chosen people. Y'all are God's chosen people. That proves the point that y'all are God's people. Right there. Come and deal with me. I will make sense. That's my job. Nehemiah 8 and 8 to give sense of the Bible. Come and talk to me. Come and talk to me. See? Read. Read that from the top again. For I knew that they would not hear me. God said he knew you would not hear him. Read. Because it is a stiff-necked people. Because he knew that you're a stiff-necked people. Read. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. He said, but in the land of your captivity, you will know who you are. You will remember that you're God's chosen people. That you're the greatest thing God made. That you're supposed to rule this earth. That we're not supposed to be getting shot down and lynched. You see what I'm saying? But when we come out here, we tell you that you're God's uh, favorite. That you're the best thing God made. That he said you're above all people. Y'all don't want to hear it. The Bible said I don't make no sense. What don't, what don't you don't, what do you not understand by you are God's chosen people? What don't you understand? No, we're not. Let me show you. Come and deal with me. Let me show you. I'm going to show it to you at the Bible. I'm going to show it to you at the Bible. Just come and deal with me real quick. Come here. Let me show you. Let me show you. Watch this. Let me show you. It's not about color, bro. It's not about color. It's not about color. It's about nationality. It's God, Watch this. I'm finna show you. Can I prove it to you at the Bible? Now, let me first. Let me. Yep. That's what I want. But first, uh, let me get uh, what I want. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 3. Chosen people, God's, God's people. Chosen. 43. 43. Because the thing is, bro, you absolutely right. Because we all come from Adam, right? We all come from Adam. But have you read the Bible for yourself? I mean, I, I read the Bible. Have you read it for yourself? I ain't read it for myself. Watch this. I'm going to show it to you, bro. Don't don't let pull your weight. I got to show this to you. I have to show this to you, bro. Because you just said you know about church, right? You say you read the Bible, right? Watch this. I'm going to show it to you. Matter of fact, now let no nope, hold that because you got chosen, right? Go to uh, go to where you was. Go to where you was. Read. Watch this, bro. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-four. Right and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, he made Adam lord of all the creatures, right? He made him to rule over everything that he made, right? Watch this. Read. Of him come we all. Of Adam come we all. We all come from Adam, right? That's, That's right. what you're saying, right? Watch this. Do you believe in the Bible, bro? You believe in the Bible. Watch this. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So he just said two people. He said, Adam, whom we all come from, right? And the people that you chose. So God got a chosen people, right? Watch this. Let's get that chosen people. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, in verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, 
and Israel, whom I have chosen. So he said, who have he chosen? Israel, right? The Israelites, right? Watch this. Let's go back to uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra, because they're proving right now that the Bible is a true book. Because remember, I just read um, uh, in Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30 that God said that he knew his people weren't going to hear him. He knew that we're stiff necked people, right? They, they're not listening, are they? They're not listening, are they? Watch this. Let's read. Let's let's read from the top. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-four. What's your name, bro? Anthony. Watch this. Read. What? Bro, you gotta listen to this. If you say you believe in the Bible, watch this. Read. And after these, Adam, whom, or Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, right. of him come we all, right. and the peace of people also, whom thou hast chosen. Bring so we all come from Adam, and the people we has chosen, which is uh, Israel, That's Isaiah right. chapter 43, right? Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. He said, Lord. Israel said, you made the world for our sakes. Come on. The Israelites, the chosen people, That's he right. made the world for our sake. Watch this, read. As for the other people, as for the other people, watch this, hold on, bro. As for the other people, now he's talking about the other people that's, that do, that are not Israel, right? Watch this, hold on, bro. Don't let her pull you away. Be a man and stand up, bro. Be a man and stand up and stay right here. You say you believe. You say you believe. Don't let a woman pull you away. Watch this, read. As for the other people, as for the other people, Anthony, which also come of Adam, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. Thou hast said they are nothing, Adam. That comes straight out the Bible. If you don't believe that, about a white man, right? Watch this. Come, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna deal with you. Watch this. Watch this. Let me get Song of Solomon. Let me get Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. Let me get Song of Solomon, one and verse five, because she said it was written by a white man. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Watch this. Verse five. I am black, but comely. Solomon said he is black, but comely. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job just said he's a black man. Job just said he's a black man. If this was written at me, if this was written by a white man, let me get Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. If this was written by a white man, why did the white man put this in here? Watch this. Why would the white man put this in here? Bring it Come out. on, bro. Come on, bro, before we lose them. Let's go. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. It said, he that leadeth in captivity, because the white man had us in captivity, right, Anthony? Watch Bring this. He up. that leadeth in captivity. Shall go into captivity. God just said, at the end of this, the white man will be your slave. He just right. said, he that leadeth in captivity shall go in captivity. Go. Put that in there, bro. Stop following right. Stop following that uh, that, that system and stand up as a man. You already said you believe in the Bible. Now, well, because the thing is, the what she believed in in the Bible, the white man taught her. The white man taught her what she believed in the Bible. That's why she don't believe in the Bible because she listened to what the white man has already said. That's what it is. That's what it is. Jeremiah thirty-one twenty-three. See, she and she believed that she's God. The Bible said you are God, black man. No, it says that the black man is God. We're gods on this earth. We supposed to rule this earth, black man. The woman is supposed to follow you. She don't supposed to be on your side. She don't supposed to be 50-50. It's you. It's you. That's right. See, and that's what's wrong with our sisters. They don't want to take their rightful place. Do a king rule with somebody? No, a king ain't 50-50 with nobody. A king is 100% him. And the only reason that a queen exists is because of a king. Either she got that title from her daddy or she got that title from her husband. There is no queen by themselves. The only way you can have 
have a queen, it's from a king. That's right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? It says, how long will you go about, O backsliding daughter? It's talking about these women, right? Read. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. It said the Lord created a new thing in the earth. Watch this, Anthony. He said this is new in the earth. He said this is new. Watch this. Read. A woman shall come past a man. It said a woman shall come past a man. Right now, in this day and age, the woman think it's 50-50. She thinks she independent. She, oh, I could pay all these bills and get this house myself too, but that's not her rightful place. That's what, 50 years ago, they was at home. They knew they had a man. They knew what they had to do for a, uh, a husband. That's right. Like, but what happened? The white man got a hold of our music. They got a hold of TV. They got a hold of uh, entertainment. And they twist the, the black woman's mind. They twisted our mind. That's why we have baby mamas and we don't and men don't take care of they uh see. Right? That's why black men is out there killing black men. That's why black men is selling drugs to black men. Because not only is the woman's mind twisted, our mind is twisted. Bring it out, huh? Right, and we gotta stand up and come back to who we are according to the Bible, bro. That's the Israelites. God's great creation. We are on this earth. Don't let the women pull you off, Anthony. You say you believe in the Bible. You get in a row and uncut right here. This ain't no Disney fairy tale story, bro. You get the real deal Bible right here, bro. Going by. I don't know what's going on, but the, uh, the military overhead. Hey, that's the sign of the days. Y'all look it up. Y'all looking at the military planes. That's the sign of the days, bro. That's in the Bible. They let you know that this world is finna come to the end, and the black man is the next one up. That's right. Everybody gonna bow down to us. Right. Trust right. Believe me, this is not a white man's book. Isaiah 14 said every nation is gonna bow to you. The white man ain't never told you that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.